Hi y'all, welcome back to Tallulah Talks. Today it is Saturday, which means it is Saturday's haunting hour. Um, so again, today, very interesting story, or at least to me, I like to look up, um, you know when you're watching horror movies and it, always, it sometimes it'll say based on true events or um, it might not even say that, but you just want to look up to see if it's real or not. Um, so I don't know if anyone else has heard of a doll called Robert the Doll. Um, but he was actually the inspiration for Chucky, the very first Chucky from the 1980s, uh, Child Play. Um, so if you don't know what Chucky is, it's basically this murderer was away to be caught by the police and he conducts a spell and his soul ends up going into one of these Chucky dolls. Um, so a little boy gets this Chucky doll for his birthday and it, I mean it's the soul of a murderer so really strange things start happening and he pretty much just goes on a murdering spree and no one knows like who it is but obviously it's this doll Chucky and that's pretty much like a very brief summary um, but there is also a series of movies called Robert the Doll I've never watched them but they are obviously based off of this doll so we have our book of stories um, and the doll in itself I think was made in the sort of late 1800s and the story, um, the doll story kind of begins with a little boy named Eugene Otto. Um, but people just called him Jean for short. Um, so back in, I think it was 1906, uh, Jean was given a handmade doll by a servant. Um, it was said though, that this servant was very badly mistreated by her employers, i.e. Jean's parents. And so kind of to get revenge, she basically, I, like I think she basically makes it a voodoo doll um, and puts like a curse over the doll so as to get revenge on the family. Um, and I believe she was actually fired not long after this because I think the parents caught her doing this. Um, Back to the story. So Jean named the doll Robert and he became very attached to this doll. Um, I will attach a photo. The doll's kind of like, kind of like the Annabelle doll. So she's like a Raggedy Ann doll. But this doll kind of looks even creepier, but he's kind of like one of the cloth dolls. Um, their home was located on Eaton Street and it was built between 1898 and 1898. Robert was then involved in what was said to be very strange and terrifying events throughout the house. Um, one night when Jean was 10, he woke up and found the doll sitting at the end of his bed just staring at him. And like the way the doll is made, there's no way it can sit up on its own. Um, moments later, his mother was awakened by just terrifying screams coming from Jean's bedroom. Um, and it was said that he was crying for help and begging his mum to save him. Um, she, so I think from the inside, the door was locked, but the mother was able to break down the door and saw that Jean was kind of in a fetal position, curled in fear. Um, the room was completely upturned. I think a lot of the furniture was had been like thrown around. Um, and Robert the doll was again sitting at the end of the bed. Strange occurrences did keep happening and Jean was often found speaking to the doll by his parents. Um, and they actually also claimed that whenever Jean would speak to the doll, they would hear a voice replying that was not could not have been jeans it was more like an adult voice um they also reported seeing physically seeing the doll talk back and witnessed that the doll's expression would constantly change and for like for over the years a lot of people would witness the doll's expression just change um, the doll was then heard giggling and running up and down the stairs and staring out this um, particular 
bedroom window because it had like a view of the street and I guess he just liked looking out that window. Um, and Robert actually lived with Jean throughout his entire childhood, his, his entire life until Jean died. Um, after Jean's parents died, Jean then moved back into the home with his wife Anne or Anna. I think it was Anne. Um, Jean then proceeded to give the doll a room of his own. Um, and he then again placed him in this bedroom where this particular window was because Jean did like to go, th uh, Jean, Robert, the tall, sorry, did like to go there. Um, however, his wife Anne had always felt uneasy around this doll. She couldn't put her finger on it, but there was just something that she felt really nervous around the doll. And so she actually convinced Jean to lock the doll in the attic. Now, this had happened on one occasion before when Jean was a child. His aunt was kind of freaked out by the doll and she did the exact same thing. She locked the doll in the attic and that same night she died. Um, I'm not sure how she died, but it was just said that as soon as she had put the doll in the attic, the doll was not happy and she died that same night. So Jean, Jean actually agreed to this and put the doll in the attic. Um, however, Robert was not happy about this and visitors to the house had said that they would hear like pacing back and forth um, and giggling up coming up from the attic. And um, Robert actually kept escaping from this locked attic and it would constantly go back to the bedroom where the window was that he liked to sit and children would claim that they saw the doll from this window um and they also claimed that the doll would just be watching them and kind of like make fun of them i'm not sure how that would happen but i think the the doll would kind of like mock the children going past or going to school um, and upon hearing this, Jean then went to investigate and right enough, despite that he had locked the attic and locked the doll in the attic, he then on several occasions after he had locked the doll in the attic, found Robert back at his favourite spot. So no matter how many times he had locked the doll in the attic, he would always be found in a rocking chair sitting out staring at the window. Um, in 1974, Jean Otto did die um, and a new owner moved into the house and their 10-year-old daughter was actually very delighted at finding Robert the doll. However, not long after, a lot of the same occurrences began happening um, and she claimed to her parents that the doll was alive and actually wanted to hurt her. But she actually lived with the doll for 20 years before giving it to a museum. Um, she woke often in the middle of the night screaming in fear and told her parents that Robert moved around the room. I mean, this would be terrifying to anyone. Like, I don't know about anyone else, but dolls, especially... Um, the hard, you know, like the dolls in that movie Annabelle, those type of dolls creep me the F out. I do not like them. Don't know what it is. They're horrible. So I can imagine even as one of these little rag dolls as a young child, like that would be terrifying. Um, so many believe that, like I say, Robert's possession had come from the, ser the mistreated servant and that she had cursed the doll to kind of get revenge on the family. Um, it was reported that Robert's expression would continually change if anyone badmouthed Jean around him. Um, and again, it was also reported that people would hear the doll giggle. Um, in kind of later years, Robert was donated to a museum and he, when people take photographs, his aura, there's like a, a light, I guess, around the doll. Um, at the time, going kind of back when he was Jean's doll, it was said that Robert had a kind of hold over Jean um, and that loud and violent commotions would be heard coming from Jean's room every single night. Um, 
and the little girl, so Myrtle Rutter, took care of the doll for, you know, around 20 years or so. Um, but I think she was still quite scared of this doll. Um, and visitors didn't actually like being in the home and they didn't like the fact that this doll's expression was constantly changing. Um, in 1940, 1994, sorry, he was donated to a museum where he is now locked in a glass case very much like Annabelle in the Warrens um, room. Staff claim to find Robert in different positions within this glass case and footsteps have been heard when no one's been in the museum at night. Um, visitors to the museum also actually have a list of rules to follow. Um, so they have to speak to Robert in a very polite way. They have to ask permission to take his photograph and he has to be treated with respect. Now, certain visitors kind of took the piss a little bit when they went to visit Robert. Um, they would be disrespectful to him and kind of laugh about him and it was said that after these visitations there would be accidents and um, death in some cases and in other cases the the visitor would be riddled with some sort of disease and so at the museum Robert's doll, there's a um, a bunch of letters around the glass case, letters of apologies from these visitors who had previously made fun of him and didn't follow the rules. Um, and yeah, they have a these letters have asked the doll for forgiveness. And as I said earlier, um, Robert the doll has been an inspiration for quite a few horror movies, including Chucky. Um, and that is, it's a very short video today because I couldn't really find a lot of information because the, like I said, the doll had lived with Jean until 1974 um, and then, like I said, had lived with this little girl and then he was donated to the museum. Um, so I will put a link to the museum's webpage um, in the description box and um, if you have any stories for me about hauntings or true stories of hauntings that you would like me to cover, definitely leave me a comment. And if this is something you are particularly interested in, um, definitely hit that subscribe button. Thanks.